Hi everyone, welcome back to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we will discuss the problem maximum sum of R glass. This is a very interesting and easy problem. So let's see the problem statement and then we'll discuss this. So the problem says will be given two integers, will be given N and M and there is a 2D grid that is given and the name of that grid is mat. So the dimension is N cross M and our task is to find the maximum sum of R glass. Okay, now what is an R glass? So basically you must have seen that uh, there is something uh, which is this uh, kind of shape which has a shape of this kind right obviously it has some sand into it and that is kind of known as a R glass. So now in this particular matrix they are saying that the definition of an R glass would be that suppose that if there is a 3 cross 3 matrix assume that if a matrix is 3 cross 3 right then in that case what will happen is this particular cell this particular cell this particular cell then this cell this cell this cell and this cell they will make an R glass right so basically you have to make a shape of I type you can make a shape of I like this okay then it will be considered as a R glass now you can see here that uh, when you have uh, to consider R glass condition so there should be three cells uh, there should be three elements here then one element in the middle right and then after that three elements below so the thing is that if you are talking about uh, rows and columns scenario so you can observe that, uh, suppose that if I had a bigger grid, even if I had a 5 cross 5 grid, even then what will happen, the dimensions would be the same. So in that case, I can say that maybe this particular cell, this particular cell, this cell, and this cell, then this cell, and this cell, and this cell, right? This can make an R glass. So I have to try out all the possibilities of R glass, because otherwise what, my, what I would have done is, let's say if I change the color here, so maybe I could have taken uh, this particular cell, this particular cell, this cell, then this cell, this particular cell, this particular cell, and this cell. Right, then also I would have uh, got sum for the R glass. Basically, I would have taken the sum of all these elements which I have indicated with the dot. Right, but I have to find the maximum sum. So, we have to iterate throughout the grid and we have to find the maximum sum here. Now, another scenario is that is like sometimes the answer might not be possible. Why the answer might not be possible? Because we at least need a 3 into 3 uh, size matrix. Why? Because if it happens that either the number of rows is less than 3 or the number of columns is less than 3, right? Then you cannot make an R glass because you can see you at least need 3 elements here. In a particular row, you need uh, 3 elements, right? And then you need 3 elements, like at least the width should be 3 from here and 3 from here. That is the minimum requirement for an R glass, right? So we need to take care of this and then after that, we will iterate throughout the grid and we can try to check. Now, if you will see here, how can we uh, check in terms of indexing? So suppose that we have a particular grid, let me make a bigger grid here. Let's say we have this particular grid right here with us. Okay, so how can we do it? Suppose that this is the cell i, j. Assume that currently we are at this cell i, j, right? So then we can say that uh, this next cell will be what? i, j plus 1, right? Then the next cell will be what? i, j plus 2. Then the cell below it would be what? Uh, i plus 1, j plus 1, right? Let me write it more clearly here. So let's say let's say if we are writing it so what we can do here is we can simply write i j here then i j plus 1 this cell then i j plus 2 okay because we are in the i row and we need to consider the j -th cell j plus 1 -th and j plus 2 -th cell then below it if you will see i need to consider this cell so this cell will be what i plus 1 comma j why because if you are going one row down so the i value increases by 1 and j will be j plus 1 only right so for this cell this middle cell that you can see its coordinate would be i plus 1, j plus 1. Now, below it, the this will be what? i plus 2, this will be j plus 2, uh, sorry, this will be i plus 2, j, because if I move two rows down uh, here, so this will be i plus 2, because I have moved two rows down and the column remains the same, then this would be i plus 2, j plus 1, then this would be what? i plus 2, j plus 2 here. So, we have to take the sum of all these values, right, and uh, we have to store it in a particular variable, and if this particular sum is greater than my overall answer, so I'll always update my answer. And this is how we can check the total R glass. And you, if you will see, so we will be iterating throughout the grid. So the time complexity for my approach would be n into m in nature. Okay, considering that there are n rows and m columns in the grid. So let's try and quickly uh, implement this code because the question is now very easy uh, since we have understood it clearly. So if you will see here, what we can do is, uh, first of all, we can check that if suppose that the number of uh, rows is lesser than 3 or the number of columns is lesser than 3. In that case, what you need to do is you need to simply return minus 1 if the answer is not possible. Otherwise, what you can do is initially you can mark your answer as what? Let's say something like int minimum. 
because we want to find the maximum sum so we, we can initially mark our variable, variable as int minimum then we can take our sum initially as 0 and then after this what we can do is we can start iterating so i starts from 0 now when we are running our i so we will be running our i till less than n minus 2 why we are doing this because we need to access i and i plus 2 both right we need to access the index i i plus 1 and i plus 2 so that is why we are always iterating less than n minus 2 here okay so that we can access the ith index i plus 1th and i plus 2th similarly for j also what we will do here is we'll start our j from 0 then j is uh, lesser than m minus 2 then we are going to do j plus plus here okay for j also we'll be checking j j plus 1 j plus 2 this kind of uh, values so that is why we are running j less than m minus 2 so that we don't get out of bound error now after this what we will do is we will uh, have a sum variable so let's say uh, inside our sum we will get what we'll get uh, mat of first of all i j plus what guys plus mat of i j plus 1 plus what guys plus mat of i j plus 2 plus we will get what plus mat of i plus 1 j plus 1 uh, right then after this uh, what we will get here is uh, plus the mat of now this is what this is the ith uh, in the ith row we will get all the elements right so we will get the i ith row jth element j plus 1th element j plus uh, 2th element then after that we will get the middle element right that is i plus 1 j plus 1 uh, of the r class and then after that uh, we will have what mat of uh, i plus uh, 2 okay j then what uh, mat of i plus 2 j plus 1 and then what mat of i plus 2 and j plus 2 so this is what uh, we will get okay and then after that we will check that if this particular sum is greater than my maximum uh, sum that we have stored then my maximum answer so i will update my answer with the sum of this particular r class and then at the end we can simply return our maximum answer stored okay now let us try and compile this code uh, to check if it is working fine or not so you can see we are getting expected output as 35 uh, for the sample test case uh, which is correct now let's try and submit this it should get accepted so let's see So you can clearly see that our code was able to pass 1115 test cases that were there. In case if you have any doubts regarding this problem, you can mention them in the comments and we will attach the code also in the description of this video. Make sure to comment plus one or understood in the chat and hit the like button. Thank you for watching this video guys and keep coding.